Yo, what is going on guys? It's Hedge. It's early in the morning where I am and I hope you guys are doing great. Welcome to Art Stage and today you saw the thumbnail, you saw the, the, the title and everything. You know exactly what we're here for. We're doing the wonderful Baby Bop. Now, alongside Baby Bop, you guys know I don't do a party character without doing who played them. Uh, this is the wonderful Jeff Ayers who, for those who don't know, which I'm pretty sure if you if you're on this video you know who this is jeff ayers is the body performer of baby bop now baby bop of course in barney and friends season one and prior baby bop was tall baby bop was the same height as barney now when season two of barney and friends hit baby bop got the the massive like height shrinking like reducing right and that was done to reflect the fact that at the time she was two years old so she got way shorter <laughs> and with that being so that also meant that they would have to get someone that would be able to fit in the new costume to reflect that and that's when jeff ayers was brought in and jeff ayers is a little person and it's always been very interesting to me because as a kid your mind doesn't really go there your mind never really puts in the fact that someone shorter is inside of a costume uh, at least mine didn't. I always just was like, oh wow, Baby Bop is short. And you never really thought about that. And I guess that's just childlike innocence. But like growing like older, you realize like that is a little person in there. And it's so, so cool to me because little people do a lot of things that you don't really even process, especially when it comes to like suit acting. You know, Baby Bop, BJ Riff. Um, uh, if anyone's seen the Power Rangers Turbo movie, uh, Larigo, you know, like there's a lot of different roles. Peter Dinklage, there's a lot of different roles that you you don't really think about, um, and it, it's really like I I appreciate it. I love the work that they do, and just body performers in general. Body performers don't really get the rep that they deserve. Body perform or not rep. But body performers don't really get the recognition that they deserve. Like suit performers, suit actors, like Power Rangers. Uh, 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 Common Rider, Super Sentai, and it, it really is amazing just the, the physical prowess that they put in for things that no one really even thinks about, you know, it's, it's crazy cool. Now this piece was interesting because a lot of different things could have gone wrong. A lot of different things could have gone wrong, Main, only like mainly on Baby Bop's side, because I, growing up, you know, I, I would draw Barney all the time. Uh, every now and then I would draw BJ and Baby Bop, but that would be few and far between. I drew BJ a lot more as a kid than I did Baby Bop for a variety of different reasons. Baby Bop is not a, is not the most child-friendly like, character to draw because uh, her silhouette is very distinct and everything within that silhouette is like oddly proportioned and it's, it's, <laughs> it's just difficult it's mainly that that i don't know what it's called the she's a triceratops it's that crest around the back of her head right, i used to call it like a like a head shield um that one would always give me trouble as a kid i remember i we would be going to church when i was younger and uh, i would uh, always bring my sketchbook because i would want to draw instead and i would be drawing barney and stuff and i'd be like i want to draw baby bob and then i think about how baby bob is designed and I'm like you know what never mind <laughs> um, so this is legitimately like the first time I've drawn baby Bob since I was a child and that had to have been like not before elementary school maybe though like maybe through elementary school so I <laughs> this one was very frightening to me uh, just in thought you know just thinking about having to do this one was kind of crazy to me because this one has been requested before for art stage and I just never really got around to it because I wanted to do other things first and now we're here um so there's that and also there are a lot of things that I forgot to do initially that I would have to put in later now Barney being in Jeff Ayers's uh elbow that was a bit of an afterthought you know with all the pieces that I've done with uh, the characters and their performers. I 
always make sure to have Barney somewhere in it. I want them to be with Barney. And doing the prep for this piece, I would always forget to add Barney into the mix. I would be like, okay, I want him over here. I want Baby Bop here. Uh, or I could have Baby Bop here and, and Jeff Ayers there. But Barney was never like in the question. So I was like, how, how am I going to put Barney in that? Where is he going to be? <laughs> if they're going to be arm in arm, who's going to be holding Barney, you know? And I wanted to put Blanky in there. Like, Baby Bob's yellow Blanky. But I'm like, well, if they're arm in arm, where's the Blanky going to be? I want her, like, holding her arm out, you know? <laughs> so it, there's a lot of different things that I had to sort of rearrange in my mind for this piece in order to make it work. Now, I also wanted to do one with Jeff Ayers and Julie Johnson. And uh, I had to go against that because I want... Any piece where it's the body performer, or sorry, any piece where it's a, a performer and a Barney uh, character that they play, I want it to be entirely separate. That way, um, you know, because I, I use these as gifts, you know, these are my heroes. The voice actors, the voice actresses, the performers, like, I have, growing up, I went around like, I'm rambling, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to, like, formulate thoughts in my mind. Um, Hedge on Stage is my portfolio, and it's a way for me to express my love of Barney that I haven't been able to do since I was a child. You know, growing up as a teen, I was depressed that because I was always afraid I'd get like bullied and, and made fun of. But uh, now that I'm older and I have on stage, I use that as a sort of a, a way to, to just shoot out all of that love that I had for Barney and give like different gifts to the people that made my childhood. You know, the one with Bob West and Barney, the piece with Patty Works and BJ. Like, I want those all separate so that I can send those to them and also put it on stage as a way of showing guys, like, this is the work that I do. You know, outside of Barney, I am an artist. This is what I do. And I want that to be separate again so that um, it, it makes things a little bit more special, you know? Uh, so I wanted to do one here, like with Jeff Ayers and Baby Bop, and then I will also do one along the line of Julie Johnson and Baby Bop, and I'm going to go down the line of everyone um, eventually, just because I want to make sure that everyone has something, and it's, again, it's a very special thing to me being able to uh, do what I do. You know, I'm always grateful to, to um, I'm always grateful to knowing that I'm an artist, I'm a graphic designer, an animator, um, and it's something that makes me me, it's something that makes me feel special, and, um, and it's always something that I'm trying to improve. Now, everything I just said there is uh, partially rambling because I forgot to talk about uh, the other things that could have gone wrong <laughs> with this piece. Um, if you look at above her bow, I forgot to put the tuft of hair. That's something that I was thinking about the entire piece, and I legitimately almost saved and exported this piece without that. And if that happened, that would have made me really upset, because I know exactly what would have happened. I would have gone the entire day without, like, that being there, rendered the video out, and then made, like, a thumbnail and put it out. And I would not have noticed until watching the video, because that's happened a lot of times. I don't, like, I'm telling you, this that happened a lot of times, just forgetting, like, a very vital thing. <laughs> you can see I'm like making the, the background and stuff and I'm not even thinking about the hair tuft That would have made me so upset because then people would have had to tell me in the comments and stuff And then it would be really embarrassing. So I'm glad I remember like right here. I was like, okay, this has to be here <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know what caught me on to it that I forgot um, but yeah, so <laughs> there it is. And uh, I think it's about coming to an end right here and that is the piece of Jeff Ayers and Baby Bob. Absolutely uh, complete. What a, wow, what a sentence. Absolutely complete. Anyways, yes, there's the piece. This one was a lot of fun to do. They're all really fun to do, of course. But this one was very nice to do because I love that it came out so colorful. You know, Blanky was a last minute addition. The Blanky on the side. Um, but I'm glad that that ended up being put in because it adds an extra layer of cover. Uh, cover? Color, I'm sorry. It is early, I actually just woke up, so. Uh, there it is. And uh, just like all the other pieces, it will be live on Hedge Museum stage, the Instagram with my art on it. It will be live there 
um, at the time this video is out. So if you want to go check that out, you can. It might actually be up earlier, I don't know. But, uh, so yeah, there's that. Again, I will be doing a piece of Julie Johnson and Baby Bop at some point. But, uh, this here's the live perform Baby Bop and Baby Bop. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, if you haven't seen yet, uh, the Barney and Friends Season 1 Spotlight Review is still live on the channel. It's doing really well. I appreciate everyone that has gone by and checked it out. Um, stay tuned for next week. There's another big spotlight that will be coming out. I um, am ex excited to show you guys. Uh, make sure, if you want to check out the other spotlights, they're all in the playlist on the channel. There's a bunch of them, like Barney's Imagination Island, Barney's Magical Musical Adventure, and The Backyard Gang and everything. So if you want to check those out, they're live on the channel right now and um yeah. so thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next one see you oh my god i'm sorry <laughs> my nose is stopped up if you can hear it and my throat like i feel like i'm losing my voice so let me try that again see you <laughs> thank you to emilia cameron and my lovely patrons for supporting the stage.